Ride on a cat's bus here in Charlotte, and you'll probably get a seat on the bus. But make sure to wear comfortable shoes because you'll likely be standing while you wait for it. All new at 6 o'clock, our Liliana Pearson found a group that is making it a point to bring seating to Charlotte bus stops. John Holmes is a public transit pro. I've been using Charlotte's public transit, um, I want to say more frequently in 2020. He's used bus stops across the city and is no stranger to just standing around. The longest I've ever had to wait for a bus, about an hour. And wait. And it was during some of these long wakes that Holmes and his friend, Jacob Untreiner, began to think, what could be done to make these waits, long or short, easier for people? According to city data that we looked through, you're going to be doing this, standing at more than 90% of Charlotte bus stops. Of the nearly 3,000 stops here in Charlotte, less than 300 of them have a place for you to sit. But a group of young organizers decided they were going to change that. Unterreiner and Holmes co-founded Charlotte Urbanist and are working to improve transit through DIY project. 40 of these homemade benches went up earlier this year, but thanks to fundraising efforts that brought in more than $3,000, they have bought 18 more comfortable and cost-effective metal benches. It will help their ridership in time. The, the more convenient and easy and practical you make riding transit, the more people will use it. Unterreiner believes if public transportation is more comfortable, more convenient, more people will use it, improving environmental impact and getting some of the congestion off the road. A basic human dignity, I think that it's the very least that, that the transit agency can do. And they want your help. You can donate or learn how to get involved with Charlotte Urbanist through our website, WBTV.com. In Charlotte, I'm Liliana Pearson, WBTV on your side. Liliana, thank you. WBTV is on your side.